Well, welcome back to CBS this morning and welcome back to Nora. You Ooh, made it from the east side. I'm, right. I'm, uh, I'm here. Traffic. I know. Didn't want to miss this. After her interview with Secretary Mike Pompeo. I'm sure he's jealous that you're here at the table now. <laughs> See, Mike Pompeo to Sebastian. Exactly. I like That's what we do. Exactly. Yeah. Yin and yang. And what's your position on North Korea? <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me introduce you and then we'll get started okay. this okay, conversation. Okay. People Magazine calls Sebastian Maniscalco the comedian's comedian, but he describes himself simply as an opinion. Opinionated observer. Very funny one, though. He delivers his unique take at sold out shows on subjects like his own Italian American family and the absurdity of modern technology. Take a look. If you come from immigrants, they don't play around with the work. Okay? I've been working since I've been eight. Eight years old, these people put me to work. I don't know what was going on. I was watching cartoons on a Saturday. My, my father walked in the living room. He's like, hey, go start a business. Now? A lot of people like Uber. <laughs> Uber X. What is that? What is it? It's like hitchhiking with your phone. <laughs> I got friends that brag about how green they are. You go to their house, they're like, look at the look at the light bulbs in my in my kitchen. I'm saving 53% uh, on my electricity bill because I got green light bulbs. I go, yeah? I can't see you. Saving 53%, right? right. Manis Calco is performing this fall and winter in shows across so North America. That includes four shows in January at New York's own Madison Square Garden. Three of the 18,000 seat shows are already sold out. His wildly successful stand up tour is called Stay Hungry. And that's also the title of his best selling autobiography. It's published by Gallery Books, an imprint of Simon and Schuster, which is owned by CBS. A very long introduction, but we yeah. can yeah. finally well do it. Sebastian Can I talk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I talk? <laughs> you got a commercial. I'm that's sorry, it. that's all the time we <laughs> yes. have for you. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Sebastian, I don't know. I think being an immigrant myself, there's something about you talking about your immigrant family that resonates with so many people across the country, whatever their background. Why do you think that is? It's the shared experience. It's the family. I think um, sometimes in comedy, the family is like underserved, and I kind of bring the family to uh, to the focal point of my act. Especially my dad, growing up in this kind of old world home, where you know some some of the stuff that I, I heard growing up was like, I don't know, what do you want me to do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my father is uh, you know it's it just he's opening up envelopes, and I, I saw one of the envelopes at the house, and it said uh, Salvatore Nun Maniscalco. I go, what is this? He goes, the app application asked me for my middle name. I put none. <laughs> so it's like that mentality that I think people kind of relate to. And, but you uh, talk about your Italian roots. This is what I thought was funny. You said every Italian thinks he's gorgeous because his mom tells him so every day. Yeah, I mean, and so uh, you grew up in a house like that where they really gave you such high self-esteem. Especially when I first uh, did my first headshot, it was uh, it was like a beautiful eight eight and uh, it was an eight and eight by, by eleven. Yeah, no, I did an eleven. Oh, an eleven, <laughs> eleven. And uh, it, my mother's like, "You got to send this out. This is beautiful." <laughs> <laughs> so hearing that, I'm like, you're thinking, "Well, I'm a, I'm a star." <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I grew up with really, really. Uh, Big characters as for parents, and uh, and it's 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 part of my comedy. And you're married to a woman out of your league, totally. by your own admission. I'm totally. not saying that yeah. you said yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. You're easily annoyed by people. Yes. Uh, yeah. My my wife is more of the kind of puppy dog in the relationship. I'm more yeah, of the. She's cat. from the south. Yeah. She's from the south. Loves people. You know, uh, open door policy. You want to come over to my house, sleep over. That's <laughs> fine. When, but I'm more like. Who are these people? You know, there's just a lot of people at the house that I don't know. And, and you mentioned the cat thing. As a comedian, though, you're out there. You're fully facing all the time. Is that why you have to be a cat? Because you're basically got to recharge for your show? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm in front of people so much to performing. When I come home, I like to kind of just be with my family. I don't like to have a lot of people around me. I don't know. I just That's the way I've always been. A, pretty much of a shy guy growing up uh, but sure. when I, I swear I was I, don't believe I was not the class clown I was the guy in the back looking at the class clowns clown saying just sit down yeah. <laughs> it's not funny um, 
but yeah, I've always been kind of reserved and, and just the observer. But now you're at Madison Square Garden. Crazy. Your first time, three sold out shows. I saw you at Jerry Seinfeld's show. I was sitting next to Jessica's wife, going, who is that guy? He's hilarious. And so you become friends now with the Seinfelds. And I wonder what that's like for you growing up, where you admired him, and now you're friends, and now you're at Madison Square Garden doing something that your family goes, what is this you're doing? Comedy? Yeah, uh, Jerry Seinfeld has been a great, great friend uh, to mm. me over the last four years. He put me on his show, Comedians in Cars, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. I watched this guy growing up, and now we're flying around uh, Los Angeles in a 69 Camaro, and uh, it's nuts. It's just one of those things where uh, I'm really enjoying all these different things that are happening to me, and I don't take it for granted, and uh, guys like Jerry Seinfeld has really, really helped me out. I can't wait to see how you include us in your routine. Cannot <laughs> wait to do yeah, this yeah. The Surely you're getting exactly. something at the round table. It's a whole you section. You can practice here with us. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sebastian, see, thank you. Go I know, on. did you see your doppelganger over here? Much older oh, doppelganger? Yeah. Tony, yeah. Yeah. Tony, yeah. Another good Tony. Yeah. Tony Moranti. Tony. Tony, yeah, we had a little meatballs. In Tony. <laughs> yeah, you share hair products. Don't do that. Tony Moranti, yes. His mother said he's cute, too, so we get it. We get it. Sebastian Maniscalco, cheering you on all. Yeah, it's hilarious. Thank you.